What's the rush? My girl's coming home today. She's arriving on the boat from Mexico. And I will have a date with her tonight. That, son, is what you call irony. Hey, Mug. What's the matter, sweetheart? What did you do with it? Hey, where'd you get this one? She sent it to me. Take a look at what she calls me. Huh, just a figure of speech. Now this means something. Uh, it doesn't mean a thing. No, you should have read the letter that came with it. I did. You did? Why, well, you double-crossing... and you'll get anything you want the rest of the day. I'll be squiring Janet tonight, and you can't stop me. Lieutenant Terrace. Lieutenant Terrace, he is, uh, why, I think he's in the wireless room, sir. What's room? Lieutenant Terrace. Yes, sir. Now, will you send it right away? Sure. Lieutenant Terrace. Coming, sir. That's your service, sir. The wireless is used only for government service, uh, Lieutenant. Wireless? Oh, you mean me being in there? Well, uh, well, I was just paying Lefty a little money I owe him. Oh, I see. Now, you will patrol Section 4 today. Section 4? Section 4. Well, well, I was just thinking that someone should take a look over the gulf this morning, yeah, sir. Well, someone will. You know, I appreciate your enthusiasm, which makes you think when you're off duty but you will still patrol Section 4. Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant Taylor. Yes, sir. You will patrol the border between Sections 2 and 4. The border? Oh, no doubt the order is unusual, uh, but you'll have to humor me. You see, every now and then I get an idea that this is the border patrol. If you see either one of those two young fools within a mile of the steamship Meridian, I want you to report him. Yes, sir. Is your daughter a boarder, sir? <clears throat> yes, uh, she's coming back this morning. Fond as I am of the young lady, I must confess that things have been awfully nice and quiet around here while she's been away. Calling 
Patrol Plane 7. Where are you, Mutt? Patrolling the border, sweetheart. Well, you'd better be. Where are you? I'm patrolling Section 4, dearie. Yeah, you better be. And don't the Meridian. Oh, Jim, take this of the old man and yeah. get a lot of his face when he reads it. Okay. for you, sir. Perfectly thrilling. Weren't you killed? <laughs> Not a scratch. Oh, that's miraculous. You know, Captain Harlan was with the Border Patrol. Was he? Why did you leave, Frank? I found it dull. Dull? Can you imagine such a man? No, I can't. Shall we take a stroll? Certainly.
Jones if you want my candidate opinion. You mean because they take such chances? Well, I had another name for it, but that will do. Oh, uh, I have something here that might interest you. Me? I didn't know you were Nick's father. No. I'm going to see him tonight. Can I give him the message for you? Yes, yes. If he's still alive by that time, you might say to him that there are other ways of winning a young lady besides trying to break his neck. Shall I tell him what they are? No, let the young fool find out for himself. All right. Oh, it's good to be home. Mm -hmm. When will Nick and Pete be here? Not until they finish that day's work. Uh, I hope. No magnolia yourself. Uh, Get out of my way. Nick, Pete, Jake, Janet. Oh, you darling. You know, you nearly frightened me to death this morning. Well, what in the blue blazes am I running? A border patrol or a girls' school? Why, Dad. Don't white at me. So, you disobeyed my orders, didn't you? Well, you see, sir, we were only gone a minute. Only gone a minute. It takes just one minute to start a forest fire. It takes just one minute for smugglers to cross the border. It takes... You get back to the field and report for night duty. I'll write it for you, Dad. You'll do nothing of the kind. You get away from that door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Couldn't they have a duty tomorrow night, Dad? <laughs> you bet. And the next night, too. Well, I meant instead of tonight. You see, we're, uh, we're going to the dance. Yeah, we're going to the dance. They'll be busy. Well, uh, I went to the expense of... Shut up. Well, I just was going to say that I went to the expense of buying a new suit for this dance. Forty-nine fifty. 
65 simoleons. 49.50. Listen, Mug, I know what I paid for that suit. It was 65 simoleons. Mark down to 49.50. I said it was 65 simoleons. Will you two get out of this house? Get out! Yes, yes sir. sir. Don't you think it's mean of you to do this on my first night home, Dad? Oh, well, they deserve it. But we planned on it. Oh, please, Dad. Mm. Please. <sighs> oh, well, all right. All right. Oh, gee, that was great. I'll call, I'll call for you tonight. tonight. <laughs> oh, you do. Hello? Hello? Is uh, Lieutenant Harris here? No. Is that his new suit? Yeah. Papa said there'd be an extra charge. Okay. But he left word he'd pick it up tomorrow. And, uh, he wants you to take some things to be clean. Okay. <laughs> Cash. Drop these off of Tony, will you? Tell him to shine them, and Lieutenant Harris will pick them up tomorrow. Sure thing. Excuse me, did that flat-faced, long-haired son of a roommate of mine leave? Is that a new suit, Horace? How do you like it? Boy, I like it swell. Have you got an extra pair of shoes? I got some brown ones. Well, I'll give you 50 cents if you let me wear those. I can't do it, Lieutenant. My girl's gonna be mad enough about me letting you have the suit. Besides, I'm late now. Well, I'll drag out the brown ones and I'll give you 50 cents and I'll take you to the dance. Oh, gee, that, that, that'd be swell, Lieutenant. Oh, don't. Don't what? Don't, don't sit down. You expect me to stand up all evening? I, I wish you would, Lieutenant. I paid seventeen fifty for that suit. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Say, haven't you got a shoehorn? I, I always use a spoon. Oh. Easy now. He 
These shoes are tighter than the suit. like your face or anything about you. Why, Nick? Are you so You better leave, Lieutenant Terrace. Oh, it's just the seams. They can be fixed. How are the pants? Oh, they're all right. Oh, Lieutenant. What happened to you? Oh, I waited for uh, Harlan. Oh. 
There's a bottle in the top drawer. You, uh, want a drink? Oh, I guess we both need one. Pay the cleaning bill on your clothes. So that's where they are. Crossing border near Parker's Landing. That is all. They're off the air now. What time is it? You've got ten minutes. Get busy. Patrol base calling plane number six. Patrol base calling plane number six. Lieutenant Terrace, patrol base calling plane number six. orders you to pick up a man named Jordan and take further instructions from him. You get it? Okay. And make it snappy. Okay, twice. He fell for it like a ton of brick. I'm Jordan, you have to take us down below the border. Below the border? You heard me and make it snappy. Climb in.
That's a government plane. You boys search their car. I'm going to telephone. Guys, there's a government plane. Nick's out in that section. Go give him a hand. Yes, sir. Hey, Max, stand by! Signal, Lieutenant Terrence. Yes, sir. Calling plane number six. Calling plane number six. Calling Lieutenant Terrace, plane number six. Try again. Yes, sir. Calling plane number six. Calling plane number six. Was a sweet play. What's the matter with you? I've been thinking of you for the last three miles. What's the matter with me? Look Why, you were it. The Colonel wants you. You sent for me, Colonel? Uh, this is the Sheriff of Cajon County. The bank there was held up today by two men who made their escape in a plane that has been identified as yours. Can you explain it? No, sir, I can't. Except that I received a message from you to go there and pick up a man named Jordan and wait for further orders from him. Yes, yes, that's quite true. Mr. Jordan is a secret agent of ours. But what I can't understand is how the bank robbers could cut in on our message. Was there a radio in that car? No. Oh. Well, in that case, of course, we shall start an investigation as to what has become of the real Mr. Jordan. Uh, Lieutenant Terrace here will give you a description of the two men. We have that. Oh, well, 
In that case, I'm afraid there's nothing more we can do for you at present. Where'd you let them out? About 10 miles below the border. There was another man waiting there with a car. They had a gun on me all the way down and they smashed the radio before we started. Well, I guess that's that. We'll be on the lookout for them. Let's get going. All right, Lieutenant. I want the truth. But I told you the truth, sir. You haven't told me the truth. I issued no such order. But you just told the sheriff that... What I told the sheriff has nothing to do with us. Do you think I'm going to let him know that one of my men is mixed up in a thing like that until I could make further investigation? Oh, be your age, Colonel. Lieutenant Taylor! Sorry, sir. But you know darn well that Nick wouldn't do a thing like that. And let him explain it. I can't explain it, sir. You, uh, you say you received a message supposed to come from me. Who sent it? I didn't recognize the voice. You didn't recognize the voice? Yet you failed to check back to see if the call was authentic? If nothing else, you're guilty of negligence. Will you permit me to resign, sir? I'm afraid I'll have to. Don't know. Well, haven't you tried to find out? How can I? He packed and left before I got here. Do you believe this ridiculous thing about him? Oh, of course not. Well, then why don't you do something about it? What? What can I do? Well, find him and tell him that you don't believe it. Well, I would, Janet, if only I could. I know where he is. Wait. Janet. Is it Nick? You don't believe it, do you, Dad? <laughs> hey. What kind of an old man do you think you've got, anyway? Let's have a little drink. Oh. At 3 o'clock, she'll be at that point about 30 miles offshore from the border. You sure about that? I've checked her last six trips south. If there's any delay, I'll send you a wireless through Bill Fletcher at Corrido. 30 miles offshore and a quarter of a million in their strong room. <laughs> it's a cinch. Come on, let's go out and see how Hannah is getting along. Here's Harlan now. She's all set. The motor's as sweet as honey. Okay. Who's going along with me? Mr. Paul. Why? I just wondered. I wouldn't want you to think that I don't trust you, but a quarter of a million is a quarter of a million. Hello, Skipper. 
do you do? Do we sail on time? Right on the dock. Tell me where I can find Captain Terrace. Yes, he's in the purse's office. Right this way, please. signaled you? Well, he didn't say so, but it was Pete's crazy lingo. That's why I was so sure. But who outside the force knows the two of you well enough to fool you? Outside the force? Why, no one. Think again. Who left a dance the other night, hating you both? Frank Harlan. Frank Harlan. No, it won't do. He might have been sore, but he wouldn't buy an expensive sending set and engineer a bank robbery just to get even. But wasn't he mixed up in something shady when he was dismissed? Smuggling, but they couldn't prove it. I know, but if he was guilty, he must have had connections with some gang. You're a smart child, but how are we going to prove all that? Well, if we know it, who cares? You're an angel. I want you to meet my old man. I've already met him. Yes, but I'll bet you didn't think of what I thought of. What? He can marry people. And uh... Have you got a match? Sure thing. Have a smoke? Thanks. Three o'clock exactly. There she is. Boy, listen to her. She sure is a big baby. Hey, you, what are you doing? I think he's in the captain's office. Thanks. A government plane? Thank goodness for that. Let's make sure. Take it easy. 
Well, if it isn't my friend from the Border Patrol. Stand still. What's the meaning of this? What is it, Dad? I never heard of such a thing. Hold on a minute longer, you'll hear something else. Behind her, drop one. Oh, 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 That's just a sample. The next one will hit your deck. You better run up the white flag quick. Put me adrift with that payroll money. Well, you've got your passengers to consider. Don't forget that. All right. Where's her? Run up a white flag. Bring the payroll here. Tell the passengers that there is absolutely no danger. Keep him covered, Dad. All right. Take off that coat. What are you going to do, son? I'm going to get in his clothes. thing to do. You think I'll get away with it, Dad? Well, I hope so, son. Okay. Keep your eye on it, Mug. Take him below, Fisher. Put him in iron. Pleasure. says he'll have the wireless working in a minute. Good. Watch my speed now. Be back at the rancho in an hour. We'll be at Corrado Air Base in 40 minutes. Terrence! Tube saw, but they'll last a few minutes. All right, get this one off anyway. Yes, sir. At least we'll get your father started. Call the colonel, quick. What is it? That's 
SOS from Steamship Meridian at sea. Payroll pirated. Watch for cabin seaplane headed shoreward near border. 3 p.m. Nick Terrace aboard. Aboard plane. Attempting arrest. Please confirm. Sign. Captain Terrace. That's all, sir. Ooh, that's enough, isn't it? Beat it. Tell them we got their message and we're on the job. Call up the Coast Patrol. Yes, sir. Well, well, if it isn't old man Neptune. <laughs> no crack, slug. We can catch those eggs. You're right, Nick.
Pop. And you're a rotten pilot! He's a real pal. 